everybody. So I think we've got enough uh, people who popped in. I'm sure more will be joining here as we move along in our uh, webinar session. But just want to thank everyone for joining here today. Uh, really excited to bring uh, green work here to the Open Solar Network and also Open Solar to the Green Work Network here. And uh, today's presentation webinar is going to be on digital tools to power your design, sales, and workforce. Uh, we're so excited to have Greenwork join as a partner with Open Solar. They're going to bring a ton of value to your business and hopefully help you with your workforce hiring and employee management and HR. And excited to have our colleague here, Sam Steyer from the Greenwork team. So you've got myself, I'm Andrew McGugan, Pro Experience Manager for Open Solar, the USA. And then Sam, I'll have him introduce himself here. Hey everyone, I'm Sam Steyer. I'm the CEO at Greenwork. Uh, super glad to be talking with you all today. And we've also got Chris Takahashi from our team as well. Great. Thanks, Andrew. Happy to be here. I focus on uh, business development for the sales and support team at Open Solar. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. And uh, we just went ahead and launched the first poll here as well. So we're going to ask a quick question of the group before we get started. Uh, you should see that poll pop up here for you. And if you want to throw your answers there in the next couple of minutes, that would be great. Um, but just a question for the audience here. What roles are the most difficult to hire for? Uh, electricians and installers, design and project management, sales and customer experience or customer service or leadership roles. We want to get an idea of what challenges you guys are having out there in the solar industry today and uh, what, what is difficult here for employee uh, retention and hiring as well. And just to kind of lay the foundation there, that's a great transition to have our colleague Sam here tell us a bit more about green work and the awesome stuff they're doing over there. Uh, you all are here at a time where I think you can feel the both excitement and challenge of installing a lot of solar very acutely. You know, I think we all know solar is already at a point where it is cheaper and a better customer experience than almost any utility in the United States. Plus, we just passed the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, plus, it's August, a time when people buy solar. So uh, we know that across the country, there are a lot of folks who want solar and it can be hard to build the capacity to design and install all those systems. And that's the problem we're focused on at Greenwork. We're building a professional network for the clean energy industry, and we're particularly focused on helping people to connect to build their field teams. And uh, that you know is all sorts of talent for field uh, designers, engineers, skilled trades, and you know newer folks coming into the industry, which we think, in light of the apprenticeship requirements in the IRA, uh, is a really interesting uh, group of people. The way that Greenwork works is individuals who are looking for a job or who just want to build their networks in solar can come on and build a personal profile. You can see some of them here uh, and share you know, who they are, what they're looking for, what sort of experience and certifications they have, and some examples of their work. There are, of course, plenty of places online where you can build a professional profile. I think all of us probably have a LinkedIn. And there are plenty of job search sites. But what's different about Greenwork is it is built specifically for renewable energy. Uh, we ask individuals and companies detailed questions about the kind of construction and engineering work they've done. Uh, we allow people to post important certifications in the industry like OSHA 10 and NABCEP and California contractors licenses. And then we verify them on the back end so you can see that you know the certifications someone's posting, they truly have. And we build a lot of features to encourage our users to post projects they've worked on. So you can see someone's work or so you can see a company's work to really understand you know, what they're doing and uh, for an individual to really understand their qualification. We're also focused on uh, building data around and onboarding local construction contractors. And we're really focused on high quality electrification contractors and both, you know, giving them another digital storefront and a great way to put their best foot forward and uh, transitioning to the next slide. There are lots of companies in solar and in climate tech in general that focus on sales or focus on developing a new, better product, you know, an energy storage system or a smart panel, who are not going to build a vertically integrated construction company with installation teams all across the country. And so that means it's really important 
uh, to be able to build a network of contractors that you trust. And Greenwork is a great place to do that. We, we allow companies to connect directly to one another. And we also, as one of our premium services, help companies uh, build a target list of contractors to add to their network and vet them uh, as they're expanding geographies. Lastly, we're in a process right now of trying to deeply understand the labor implications of the recently passed Inflation Reduction Act. I think the most obvious are for solar projects one megawatt and up in order to capture the investment tax credit, they're going to be uh, apprenticeship requirements starting at 10% of employees and going up and prevailing wage requirements. Um, we're really you know, in a process of learning now how we could help our more junior job seekers get into certified registered apprenticeships and help companies in solar comply uh, with the legislation. There's also deeper in the bill, $200 million for contractor education. You know, we think this is a great opportunity for companies to invest in their workforce and are interested in folks who might want to work on something together to um, you know, uh, capture some of that money that's going to be administered through the states. Um, and then there's a 10% adder on the ITC for operating in energy communities and for uh, basically employing locally. And uh, we're really interested in mapping those communities. Those are communities with you know, historical fossil fuel uh, economies, and there's sort of a specific definition of what that is and understanding how uh, our customers can serve them. Um, so with that, I wanted to show you a really you know, rapid fire short demo of green work. Um, and so uh, here we are on our homepage to sign up, which we'll do in a moment, or to log in. You can come here to joingreenwork.com and click log in. Um, here's my profile. Uh, as I said, you know, our profiles uh, allow someone to talk about themselves and express you know, where they are and if they're looking for a job. Um, and then to fill out a checklist of construction skills and certifications and experiences that they've had. Um, individuals can post pictures of projects and they can post certifications and if it's a common uh, solar or construction certification, we'll verify it on the back end. If you're coming here looking to build your team, the easiest way to find uh, folks to potentially join you is to go to the professionals tab. Um, and here I can, you know, for example, sort by people who are nearby and then search for, you know, very specific uh, electrical and solar things like, for example, you know, let's say I want to hire electrical trainees who I'm going to you know, train up to become electricians. Um, I can search by a specific certification like that. Um, and there's lots of folks on the platform who are looking for jobs now. Um, if someone's a good fit, I can either connect with them directly, in which case they'll get a notification and we can start talking to each other, or I can thumbs up to them as a candidate for later. Um, companies that hire, are hiring can also post jobs to Greenwork. Um, and when you post a job, you can specify the kinds of certifications and skills that make someone a good fit. And that allows us to generate for you, based on those uh, skills, a uh, algorithmic uh, list of candidates who you might want to consider. Um, companies can also build their own profiles. Um, and that's a good way of both uh, having sort of an advertisement for your services and connecting with other companies on the platform that you might want to work with as a partner. So um, you can see their work, you can see the kinds of licenses that they hold, and if you want to connect with them, you can click to send them an invite and start talking about how you might work together. Um, lastly, you know, Greenwork is a platform, but we are also for our customers a services company. So if you're looking to build your installing network or looking to hire or looking to understand how to comply with labor law, we also are always very happy to talk directly. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sam, for that demo. And again, yeah, really excited. I think it's a great resource to bring to our open solar network. Um, you know, we shared that poll a moment ago, and it looks like most of you are commenting here that the leadership roles are actually the most challenging to hire right now in the industry. 
it seemed like a pretty evenly split second place between the electricians, installers, design and project management, and sales and customer experience. But the great news here is that Greenwork is able to help with everything, right? So connecting those great and experienced candidates with you guys and gals, and hopefully you can hire a really awesome and diverse team for your workforce. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen just so Sam can go ahead and give us some of those next steps here on how to go ahead and uh, work with the Greenwork team and get signed up. Awesome. So the first step is just to make a profile in Greenwork. It's totally free. And during the sign up flow, you can select whether you want to make an individual account for yourself or a company account uh, for your company. We, you know, we encourage you to do both. And the way to do it is to go to joingreenwork.com and click that green login button in the top right corner. And to uh, review, you know, it's a place to recruit new employees to create a positive present, another positive presence for your company online. Uh, if you're not hiring for full-time to connect with contractors as install partners, and uh, you can reach out with, uh, to us directly to talk about the labor implications of the IRA. Uh, th thank you all for taking the time to learn about green work and we love to hear from any of you. We're super excited to partner. Thank you, everybody. Yes, yeah, so if you have any questions or comments or just thoughts for Sam and the team here, you can leave those in the chat in the Q&A. We are going to save a few moments here at the end of our call for a quick Q&A session. Um, so happy to sit here and answer any questions you have about Greenwork or Open Solar. Um, with that being said, I'm actually going to launch a second poll here. We go through these next few slides. Um, but want to talk a bit about the solar software landscape and a bit about open solar and you know the value we're bringing to the industry today. So in the solar field today, in the software landscape, 97% of installers are currently relying on solar as a software solution. Um, you know, paying money every month for a solar software solution or sometimes per design based on who they're working with. And we found that installers are using multiple platforms today. So oftentimes they've got one CRM, one design and proposal tool, a postal manager, and a number of other tools to manage their processes. Uh, talking to installers in the survey, we found that one in five actually outsource their plan sets, one in four outsource permit packs, and one in three are outsourcing financing. And you know, it's a pretty fractured landscape and all of those extra platforms, all of those extra processes just can create a lot of complexity and a lot of cost for you as a business. And that's what we came up with Open Solar was to create a streamlined all-in-one end-to-end platform that's free for installers, but allows you to manage a number of your different processes and all the solar lifecycle for your business all in one platform. And that's what we're really proud of Open Solar. Not only is it free, but it's one of the most accurate tools on the market today. And we're really excited to show you a demo and show you what it can do for your business. And of course, happy to help you get started with Open Solar or Greenwork uh, anytime after this call here. So uh, the second poll is up. Before I get into my Open Solar overview here, just wanted to go over that. Um, so which of the below factors most heavily impact how many proposals or installs you can complete in a year? So is it a fast sales and fast design and sales process? Is it hiring the right people? Is it market forces? Is it the high cost of operating a clean energy business? Or is it none of the above? If you want to go and fill that in, we'll share the results here in a moment. Open Solar here. So I mentioned a couple of these things. We're the world's leading design and proposal software. We're in 120 countries globally with installers using us. And of course, we're free of charge so you can focus on growing your business. One of the really cool things about us is we're built by solar professionals for solar professionals. We've got a great coast-to-coast -coast U.S. sales and support team, as well as an Australian team and a European team as well. And combined, we have over 200 years of solar knowledge and industry knowledge amongst our team. So really talented individuals, and we're constantly updating the platforms. As you learn it, as you practice with it, give us your feedback, any suggestions for enhancements or feature additions, and you'll see we're constantly working to improve the tool and make it better for our installers. Open Solar is fast, so what's really exciting about it, and we'll show you a demo here, is that you can create custom interactive proposals in under five minutes. And with our tool, we have automated 3D designs. So you can just paint on the panels and quickly get your panels and burners and batteries loaded and move right into a proposal to show your customer. And we have integrated finance partners. We'll go over those in a minute, but you can uh, do the credit check, the loan docs, the pre-approval, sign contracts, collect payments. You can do it all right in the proposal tool in Open Solar. So really managing that process front to back for your customers. And Open Solar has class leading accuracy. So we've been validated by NREL, PVEL, and the US Department of Energy as being the most accurate tool in the market today. We're super proud of that. We had a bunch of projects we did in Open Solar and tested them in real life with these third parties, validating our shading, our uh, production, and also the measurements within the tool. And more accurate proposals means for you fewer change orders, happier customers, and higher conversion rates. 
And as I mentioned, we're an all-in-one solution. So we've got a built-in CRM, workflow management. You've got documentation in there, which you can send out to your customers, like install packs, user manuals, shade reports, plan sites, and more. And we do recognize that while OpenSolar is an end-to-end -end tool with a great built-in CRM, that a lot of installers out there, you guys have your own CRM processes, your own Salesforce, HubSpot, you know, what have you. And what's great is we do have an open API here at OpenSolar now. So you can access that and connect OpenSolar with any other software tool you may be using. And we're happy to help you with that process as well. And OpenSolar is a web-based browser, but we do have dedicated phone and tablet apps. If you want to download this in the iPhone or Android store, you can access everything OpenSolar has to offer on the go when you're in the field on your tablet or mobile phone. So here's that quick poll. I'm going to go ahead and share the results of that poll here as well. So appreciate everyone responding to that. And look in here, it looks like that the factors which most heavily impact proposals and installs for you all is the design and sales process. So, you know, kind of what we found in that survey we did a while back, you know, a lot of uh, installers out there are using those multiple platforms that can cause a lot of time to build a design, a lot of back and forth and redesigns or change orders, and, you know, often a, a challenging and complex process. Following up that fast design and sales process, hiring the right people, market forces and the high cost of operating a clean energy business all came in second place. And it just makes a lot of sense with the market forces and just the external stuff we're seeing today in the solar industry. And that's over here with open solar. We wanted to create again, a free, fast, accurate, and easy tool for you to be able to do everything for your solar business all for free within one platform. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We'll take you guys through a very quick demo of Open Solar. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the chat or the Q&A. Uh, looks like we do have one in there from JB. Thank you, JB. Uh, we'll be answering those as we go through this, and we'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions in our Q&A session following up on this demo. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open Open Solar here. Hopefully, you can all see my screen. Um, so we've got the Open Solar tool here, and right now we're looking at the home page in Open Solar. There's three different zones in Open Solar. There's the home page where you can enter and start a project. There's the project zone or CRM. This is where you can go ahead and manage all your projects, all your contacts, files, activities or tasks between teammates and customers. Everything's right here in the built-in CRM. We've also got the control zone. This is kind of the toolbox or under the hood for the installers. This is what we do to set up the entire business for you. And we do have a team to help you do that. So if you are interested in working with us, we'll have some information on next steps here in a moment. But we're happy to help you build out, set up your account here, provision everything, and train your team so everyone's ready to go with doing designs and proposals on the platform. Again, lots of information back here, but this is everything that you can set up to customize your business on OpenSolar. We've got a lot of support resources. So if you ever need help, we've got a great coast to coast team. Again, we've got some global teams as well to help at odd hours outside of the US working hours. But at any time you can jump on a call with us, send us an email for help. We've got weekly webinars we do just like this with live individuals you can attend, or we have a fantastic help center with lots of resources, walkthrough guides, training videos and step-by-step -step instructions. There's dashboards you can set up here. You can manage all your tasks and activities. And one really cool feature with OpenSolar is you see customer interactions. So when you send out a digital proposal in OpenSolar, any interactions your customers take with that, you'll get live notifications. So great buying signals for you and your sales reps to follow up with the customer if you know they're really interested. To start a project, you just come back to the home page here, and all you need to do is enter an address here in the project zone. And when you enter an address, it'll help you select one and help you get started with the project. Um, once you've started a project, you're going to see those projects end up in the project zone. I'm going to click into one right now that we started here for green work. And when you click into a project or enter the address, address in the project page, you'll be taken right here to manage that project. Now you've got six different tabs to manage the project here in OpenSolar. Uh, the info tab is all the information for the customer and for the project. Uh, all you really need here is just the customer contact information and you can move forward with the design. On the energy page here, this is where you put in all the usage and uh, information for the project. So kilowatt hours, bill dollar values, um, you can put in usage or bill information a number of different ways. And then down here is where you'll also select your utility company and your rate plan. Once you've done so, you can go ahead and move into the design studio here in OpenSolar. And this is where you can design your project and your different system options that you're going to propose to your customer. Now, right now, we're looking at OpenSolar 3D. OpenSolar is a 3D rendered model that gives you a great 360 view of the home and the property and allows you to get really accurate information and calculations here when designing your project. We always recommend using OpenSolar 3D if it's available to you. 3D is what's been validated as the most accurate tool in the market today. 
But not only is it accurate, it also calculates your shading, your azimuth, and your slope in real time when you're building your system. Now we do have two other modes, the 2D mode and the manual mode. We do recommend only using these if 3D is unavailable because 3D will give you those automatic and accurate calculations. But if you do want to use 2D or manual, if you don't have 3D imagery, those options will allow you to build great proposals as well. One thing to note is the 2D mode does not calculate shading. It is a flat 2D image. So you will have to put in your own shading values if you're using 2D. So one of the big benefits of using 3D is the automated shading. But we do have the manual mode. It's kind of our go-between. So if you do want to get those shading values, you can take the 2D image, build a 3D model, plant trees around the home, and it will help you calculate the shading. We're going to stick in the 3D mode today, but please set up a call with us. We're happy to chat with you and do some one-on-one -on -one time if you need some help with 2D or manual. So in Open Solar 3D, we can move around the model at any angle we want by right-clicking and holding or zooming in or zooming out with the scroll wheel on our mouse. You can also use the compass down here in the bottom right to move around as well, or click the middle to come back to top down. And if you want to go ahead and zoom in and zoom out, you can use those plus and minus arrows. Now, what's really cool about Open Solar is you can design as many system options as you want here on the left. I'm going to go ahead and start a brand new design just so you can see one from scratch. And one awesome feature we love about this is the heat map. We have a digital heat map in Open Solar, which you can load right here 3D, more, and view shade. And that's going to load an initial heat map here for you. So you can see the home and the best roof faces for solar. It takes about 10, 10 seconds here to load the heat map. But once you do the first time, it's instantaneous after that. You're going to see with this heat map, the blues, the greens, and the yellows. The yellow being the best area for solar access. The blue and the green, we're getting some shading. So this gives the sales rep just a very quick preview of the best roof faces to put the modules on. Again, 3D, more, and then view shade to toggle that on and off there. This is not our shading tool. And to get our actual shading tool, we'll go ahead and construct a system. And you can see how the shading is directly impacting the modules. To do so, you come over here to this left system, uh, the zero panel system drop down. You'll have a number of different tabs along here to manage your system design start to finish. And the panels tab is where we can select our modules. I'll go ahead and use some Panasonic modules for us to get started. Just select the modules you want to use. Click the plus panel button right here on the left, and you can choose portrait or landscape. We're going to keep them in portrait. And when you bring out your modules, you can move them around the roof, and they snap right to the roof face here. And that's because they're picking up the azimuth and the slope in real time before you place them down. To put a panel down, it's really easy. You just left click and hold, and then you can click on these individual boxes, and it's going to automatically snap to that azimuth and auto correct here for you. So you'll see it making slight adjustments. Again, just left click and hold to draw them across or left click on any of the boxes to add or remove the modules. You can place them down and once you do, you're gonna get a little directional pad here that you can utilize to move around the array anywhere on the roof. But you will notice here in this left-hand toolbar that you've got the automated calculations for your azimuth, your slope, and then under the system header here, you're gonna get your system size, your offset percentage here in just a moment, 81% and our first year of production at 12,000 kilowatt hours. Any adjustments you make here to the modules, the position, or if you want to unlock the azimuth of the slope, when you make changes to this, it does those recalculations in real time for you. So you're always getting the really accurate view of what exactly the system is doing for the homeowner. The racks field is our tilt. If you want to tilt the panels, you can change the orientation here. You can put gaps in between the modules if you want, or you can put clearance on them to raise them off the roof or off the ground. I put those five feet off the roof there. So a lot of different options for you to manipulate the panels for different type of roof scenarios, flat roofs, or ground mount situations. Now, besides those other automatic calculations I just mentioned a moment ago, the really popular one is our shading calculation. So if I hit the drop down here, I get my shading tool, and I can zoom out and see where these ray tracers are hitting the panels to show the path of the sun. Now, the table here on the left is going to show me the months of the year, the times of the day, and my average solar access for each month. And I can click around to move this around, like looking at December in the afternoon, or if I want to look at November in the morning, I can click those boxes, it moves my ray tracers around, and I can see exactly what's impacting the system at those given months and given times. I can even zoom into the modules here, and you can see exactly which modules are being affected by the shading. You'll see them turn red, yellow, and green. And you can see the direct impact of those shading threats on your system. 
Now, the really great thing about this is it gives you all those automated and accurate calculations, puts them right into the production and the savings modeling for you, so you get a very clear picture of what solar can do for this homeowner. What's also awesome is we have a number of other tools here in the advanced tool dropdown. You can draw out the roof. You can set setbacks for fire codes. You can trim trees if you want to. So if I want to actually remove trees from my tool, I can remove trees and it will affect the shading positively. I can also add trees if the customer's added a tree and give the system some more shading if that's the scenario. And if I want to draw out the roof to do setbacks, I can also use an obstruction tool to bubble up roofs, sky vents, all of those kind of things to block and highlight my obstructions. Lots of great advanced features here that we're happy to show you if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one demo with any of our team members. Now to finish out my design, I'm going to click on my modules here, my first system or my second system option. I come to the inverter tab where I can quick string, auto size and string my inverter. Or I can simply add my inverter right here. I'll do the IQ8A or IQA plus, either of those will work. And I can grab my inverter, click on my first cable to string it, and just left click and drag across the panels to go ahead and string your system. So again, we have an automatic stringer, we have a manual stringer. The automatic one is the easiest for your sales reps moving quickly. They just select the inverter right here and click quick string. Once you've strung your inverter and sized up your system, you can add any batteries in the battery section by simply selecting a battery here. We'll choose the in-phase battery. And then you can tell the system with the battery control scheme how you want that battery to charge and discharge. In the other component section here, you can add any other components besides your panels, inverters, and batteries. You can add anything you want like racking, electrical gear, maintenance or monitoring programs, you know, home improvement type stuff. You can create any custom component you want or add one from the system. And if you're an Ironridge customer, we have a direct integration with Ironridge where you can import all of your racking right into your project down to the little nuts and bolts that you're going to need for this design. After that, you'll set up your pricing. So you can set up your pricing scheme here, any costs for your business, any commission levels you want to include. You can add adders or discounts, create a whole library or add them manually. And then once you have all that built in, you're going to get a custom job cost here with all your costs for your project, including any adders. And then down here, you can see a breakdown of your pricing based on the payment option you've selected to include for this design. So really great way to see custom job costs, custom pricing, and your margin there. And this is only available internally. None of your customers will ever see this. Once you've done that, you can go to your incentives. Make sure you've got the right incentive applying for your state, federal, or local tax credit or rebate. And then the very last thing is setting up your payment options. You can either manually select these payment options or you can have your defaults applying. I'm going to go ahead and choose cash and let's select a mosaic option. Let's select a sunlight option and a sun gauge option here. So we can show a couple different options in our design and our proposal. We have five integrated finance partners, sunlight financial, sun gauge financial, mosaic, good leap, and we just added dividend as well. So we're really excited about all these finance partners. They're fully integrated, meaning you can do the credit check, the pre-approval, the loan docs right in the tool. Um, but if you want to add any other financing partner, you can show any loan, lease, PPA. You can create any option manually in here if you're not working with any of our integrated partners. Once we've saved our design, you can set your view here. Just make sure you've got a really good angle and everything's centered in that white checkered box. Once you do that, go ahead and hit save. And then you can move over to the online proposal. And this is the preview that the homeowner is going to get of their digital proposal that you sent them. You get a nice welcome message here and about us for the business with the logo, the color scheme, all your information customized. And this is the digital proposal that you can send to your customer. We have all this available in a PDF as well that you can download and email or print out. And this digital proposal will take about 10 seconds to save when you first, uh, when you first uh, create that. And again, it's fully customizable. You've got your logo up here, four financial figures across the top, which you can customize and change. You've got like a library of 30 of them. You can switch between your different system options right here. Look at your different views that you set up in the design studio. You'll see your different payment options right here, which you can actually close right in the tool. So for any finance options, you can hit get pre-qualified. This sends everything over to the financing partner, builds a project out in their portal, and is going to send back to us all the pre-filled loan documents. And we can go ahead and close out the loan deal, do the credit check and the pre-approval and everything right here in the platform. So you can see here, here's all my Mosaic information ready for me to finish filling out and to go ahead and get that approval from Mosaic. You can also sign any of your own contracts in here. We have a native signer as well as an integration with DocuSign, and you can sign and close deals right in the tool. 
Um, you'll see all the widgets and hardware information down here. All of this is customizable. You can keep these things in or take them out, including all these widgets and graphics. And you can also put in any custom content you want, like YouTube videos, pictures, links to your graphics, or anything like that. Production and consumption is here. You've got daily energy profiles to see how the system is working. Environmental benefits right here, and then all the savings tables. So your first year of savings, you can switch between options to see the changes there and the monthly payments. A lot of great tables like your year one breakdown. And below this, you'll see your whole net financial impact, the exact month payback year and month and the ROI. Tons of great financial detail information to help you paint your story to your customer. And of course, you can toggle between the different options to show the differences. You'll get a nice quotation table here, breaking down that finance option with all the information for the loan. And you can switch between cash and loan to see the differences here, depending on which option the customer wants to go with. As I mentioned, you can include custom content like testimonials, how your system works, or pictures of recent installs. And you can even include more information at the bottom, like more case studies and about us for the business, or you can download everything here as a PDF copy. When you're ready to send this out to your customer, all you have to do is just hit this send proposal to customer button at the bottom, customize your email message to them, hit confirm and send proposal, and this will email everything off to them and they'll be able to go ahead and access this entire digital proposal. You can edit the online proposal right here or the PDF proposal right here. And then the last tab, the manage tab here, allows you to manage your project start to finish, track all the history, all the interactions, all the assignments for the project, and allows you to assign any tasks or activities between your teammates or your customers. That's the open solar tool front to back. Very quick overview and it's a ton of information, but we're here to help you out. Again, everything is free and fully accessible. All you have to do is go to opensolar.com to make an account here and we'll be able to help you get started. So www.opensolar.com or if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one demo with us, you can do that through this link here. We'll be emailing a bunch of great resources for both open solar and green work following this call, as well as a recording of the webinar if you want to share it with your team. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn off the screen share here and open this up for some questions and answers. So again, just really appreciate everyone attending and taking the time to listen to our presentation today. Super excited for this partnership. I think there's going to be a lot of great work we're going to be developing with the green work team, especially around training and stuff like that. So keep an eye out for future webinars and future updates and development from us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn over to my colleagues here and we'll take a look at the chats and the Q&A to see if we have any questions to answer. Awesome. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of chats here outstanding. Uh, one, uh, I'll, I'll start with Miles here, uh, just in the chat box on the right side of the frame. Uh, he's got a question about uh, the process for commercial projects, including laying out foundations for canopy systems, et cetera. So, um, yeah, in short miles, we can support commercial projects. Um, you know, carports, canopies uh, can all be designed in our tool, 3D design, 2D design. Uh, you can live affect the shading if you have 3D. Uh, so yes, we can support commercial and definitely be great if you aren't using open solar already. Uh, we could set up a call to kind of explore commercial options here. Uh, yeah, thanks for dropping in the, the calendar, Andrew. Awesome. Um, Thank you, Chris. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, Miles, go ahead and book a call with us. We'll be happy to show you. But that elevate feature I showed a moment ago in the tour, you can put in uh, the amount of inches that you want to raise the panels off the roof or off the ground. You can do that and use basically that function for carports or canopies. We unfortunately can't show the actual canopy structure, but you can raise the panels 15, 20 feet off the ground, whatever you need to, to get the exact amount of production and, and the accurate numbers for what you would need for that kind of a system. All right, and then um, we got a question from JB. Uh, this is kind of more of a meta question, so I want to save this here for the end. What is your opinion of the IRA? Um, I think overwhelmingly positive to start. Uh, we're super happy with all the investment and renewed investment in the industry, and it's really got a lot of breath to it. So um, yeah, speaking for myself and colleagues here, I think very positive overall. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. And then uh, looks like Miles has another question here for us. We did answer this one. We'll just answer it live for everybody. So how do open source design, engineering, and procurement costs compare to subcontracting out an EPC form for these services? So yeah, we actually do not um, do any of the design, engineering, and procurement here at Open Solar. We are, again, just a free tool to use end-to-end -end for your designs and proposals. Um, we don't do designs for our installers. It would be somebody on your team handling and building out those designs and proposals there. 
although we all are looking into some options to have some third party uh, options for you all there. Now we do have an integration with Green Lancer. So that is one thing to highlight in our tool. You'll see the integration with Green Lancer. If you want to sign up with Green Lancer, you can utilize that API to send any projects directly to Green Lancer to order plan sets, permit packs, whatever you need for that design and engineering service um, through the Green Lancer team. So again, Miles, set up a call with us. We'll be happy to show you. Um, and thank you very much for the question. All right. Um, I think with that, those are all the questions here in the chat. So again, thank you so much for everyone joining. Um, I'll let Sam kind of give a final piece here from the Greenworks side. And again, if you still have any questions, please leave them in there. But thank you all for attending. And Sam, you can go ahead and uh, yeah, wrap us up here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so a few things. First, thank you all for your time. We know you're all busy. We appreciate it. Second, we there was just a question in the chat. How do you make money? And I, I think that I'm not sure which of our companies that's directed to because I think it may be a little unclear in both cases, but I'll answer for us. We uh, are a free platform for everyone, a professional network like LinkedIn, but we offer premium services to employers, You know, uh, additional recruiting tools, help in building out a contractor network. And so uh, some of our some of the companies on Greenwork are on a paid account. That's how we make money. Um, lastly, I wanted to say, uh, I think this decade really is our moment for clean energy. You know, we've gotten this huge piece of legislation. Our technology is cheaper and better. I think we're going to go from being, you know, a meaningful subset to the primary energy source in the U.S. And that's going to just take a huge amount of people. And uh, Greenwork is excited to, you know, prepare and welcome people to be part of the industry. And and really, uh, we need to, and we uh, are excited to partner with all of you to do it. And I think you may have been asking how open solar makes money. So I'll let you guys take that one too. No problem. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, I just want to echo all that. We're super excited about what's happening in the industry today. I think it's a pretty amazing time for us and uh, definitely, you know, industry's taken off and I think finally hitting that that inflection point. So again, really excited for everything to come. And again, with the partnership with Greenwork. Uh, to answer your question here, Roger, open solar is free. Uh, we are not a nonprofit though. We're certainly a for-profit company. And the way that we make money is through all of our great integrations and partnerships. So obviously great partners like Greenwork. We've got Iron Ridge, as I mentioned. I highlighted a few of those things in there. So with open solar, you're going to see a number of hardware manufacturers, suppliers who sponsor their products on our platform. There's extra bells and whistles, marketing collateral and the proposal, all that kind of stuff. We are not gatekeeping you. We're not preventing you from using any products. We're totally agnostic. So you can use whatever products you want in open solar. You'll just notice that some of them have some extra bells and whistles in the proposal because they're paying to sponsor the platform and keep it free for you all. Uh, the other way we make money is through the integration. So we've got integrations like utility API to import utility data, near map for premium imagery. Uh, I mentioned Green Lancer if you want to order plan sets or permit paperwork. And then of course, the big five financial institutions, all those solar financing companies that are integrated. We make money out of every single finance deal that goes through open solar, every integration that's used. Um, the relationship is between you and that company. You're never paying open solar or anything. We don't collect the money from you. We don't charge anything at all, but we do make a small piece out of revenue from all those integrations and partnerships. So it's a bit of a different model. We use the industry and our great partners in the industry to power the platform. That way we never have to charge the solar installer and we keep it free for you. Um, so hope that answers your question. And the nice thing is, is with those subscriptions and integrations, it's the same exact price you're paying outside of open solar. In some cases you may get a discount, but there's no extra fees or costs or anything like that for you. Um, the one other thing and concern I'll answer that comes up with us being free is we do not share or sell your data. Uh, we're very conscious of that. We protect all of your data in open solar. Everything you do in your account is private unless you consent. Otherwise, it should be signing a one-page document that you would know you were doing. So again, everything's private in there, totally free, and you can sign up easily at opensolar.com. If you want to schedule a call, the link's in there to go ahead and do it. Thank you. Okay, looks like those are all of our questions. So just want to say thank you for everybody. Huge thanks to Sam and the Greenwork team. Again, just keep keep yourselves posted. There's going to be a lot more coming from us. We're going to send out a follow-up email with a lunch, bunch of resources and a link to this recording. So go ahead, check it out, share it with your friends. And thank you so much for working with us and the Greenwork team. Uh, we're excited to help you guys get on board, guys and gals get on board and get staffed up. Hope everyone has a great day. Thank you so much for the time. Oh, thanks, Open Solar. All right. Many thanks. Thank you, Sam. Thanks, all. Open Solar.